God so loved the world that he gave his only son. He didn't give a house. He didn't give a car. He gave that which is most precious. He gave his son. And so God calls us to sacrificially and selflessly love each other. And you do well to remember those words. But love is also maintained by the will and deliberately strengthened through habits. Um, I met Allie our freshman year of college. We had an English class together, and when we first spoke, we just clicked. It happened one day when we were on a shuttle bus for our next class, and discussing our hatred for the class, the teacher, and the people. And in that moment, we just knew that we were meant to be best friends. It is first an action, and the emotions follow. And you guys, as long as you show your love to one another, show it via action, your love will always be strong. But another habitual aspect of love that you can implement into your lives is that it bears all things. Love will do whatever it can to cover up and suppress the wrong another person does to us. It covers the other person's faults. In 1 John chapter 4, it said God manifests his love toward us. And we do the same thing. We manifest our love. We show our love. We are gathered here in the sight of God to join Kali and Allison in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate and has been instituted by God. Marriage is by the Lord to be honorable among all men and is therefore not to be entered into lightly or inadvisably, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. I Klee, take you, Allison, to be my wife, my constant friend, my faithful partner, and my one and only love from this day forward. In the presence of God, our family and friends, I offer you my solemn vow by promising, by God's grace, to be your faithful husband through sickness and health, good times and bad, in joy and as well in sorrow. I promise to love you sacrificially, unconditionally, unconditionally, support you honor and respect you and to cherish you as, as long as we both shall live. I, Allison, take you to lead to be my husband, my constant friend, my faithful partner, and my one and only love from this day forward. In the presence of God, our family and friends, I offer you my solemn vow, promising by God's grace to be your faithful wife in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, in joy as well as in sorrow. I promise to love you, to support you, and to honor and respect you, and to cherish you. Oh God, our Heavenly Father, you alone are the source and author of life. You are the protector and guide on life's pathway. You alone are the builder and maker of homes. Now grant, we pray thee, the blessings of your promises and the aid of your Holy Spirit to these dear ones enabling them to honor you and be ever true to the pledges made to each other. May your grace in abundant measure be theirs, helping them to walk in your truth, to abide in your fellowship. Let the love they have for each other be forever enthroned in their hearts. Allow them, Lord, to live in perfect peace with each other until their earthly life shall end.